If you cut a magnet in half, you just get two smaller magnets, each with a north and a south. In fact, no matter how many times you cut a magnet in half, you never get just a north or just a south. But what if you did? Such a thing would be an example of a magnetic monopole, and we've never seen one even though we've been looking for 50 years. But that didn't stop renowned string theorist Joseph Polchinski from saying that they are, quote, one of the safest bets that one can make about physics not yet seen. So why would he say that? This story goes all the way back to Paul Dirac, who showed that if magnetic monopoles did exist, then electric charge must come in quantized chunks. And it's an empirically determined fact that yes, charge always comes in chunks of a certain size. So it would explain a lot if magnetic monopoles did exist. His result follows from very minimal assumptions, basically that Maxwell's equations hold and that quantum mechanics is able to make unambiguous predictions. For those that want details, Dirac's paper is incredibly readable, but essentially, he made arguments involving how the wave phase of charged quantum systems must behave and how consistency demands that any phase change around a closed loop must necessarily be a multiple of twice pi. Now this alone might not justify a nearly 100 year search, but if we fast forward 40 years, the hope for magnetic monopoles showed up again. During the development of the standard model of particle physics, it was observed, if you squint hard enough, that you can extrapolate the known strengths of the three fundamental quantum forces so that they all converge to a single quantum force. This is the idea behind grand unification. The way this goes is that we can describe the behavior of this one megaforce by a mathematical object called a compact gauge group. And a consequence of the compactness of this group is that the resulting electromagnetic gauge group is also compact. And then again, by a similar argument as that made by Dirac, we end up with magnetic monopoles. And this time, they're not a maybe, they must exist, even if they're rare. Now of course, maybe there is no grand unified theory, and maybe somebody can come up with a good reason electric charges quantized absent magnetic monopoles. But until then, it seems like a pretty safe bet to me.